How's it going there, guys? Welcome back to the Weave Lounge. I am Nick, and I am going to be talking about one of the most accursed things other than the color of this shirt. Yeah, it's a spider bot in X Defiant. In first-person shooters, we've been introduced to a lot of really, really bad mechanics and things that just annoy us to death. And this one is probably the worst that I've seen in a long time. So, what makes a spider bot so annoying? All right, well, to me, it's a little bit more so because any mechanic in a first person shooter that basically says, stand still and do nothing, be helpless while I kill you, that's a mechanic that I absolutely hate. Now, you could kind of sort of compare that to like flashbang and concussion grenades, but at least with those, they only last a short bit of time or whatever, and your chances of survival are actually a little bit better. They generally don't do any damage, or if they do, fairly minimal. The spider bot, on the other hand, or whatever, it latches onto your face. There's literally nothing you can do. You can fire wildly and maybe get lucky that a bullet will connect or something. Your chances of survival are virtually none, and plus it does about 40 hit points worth of damage. So if you were already hurt going into that, whatever, the spider bot will just kill you. Yep. Okay, so think of this as Last Stand back when it was introduced in Call of Duty. A lot of people don't remember this, but when that was introduced shortly after, it was, you know, it was wildly abused. Everybody absolutely hated Last Stand. And even the developer, I think it was over at Infinity War that uh, introduced it, they apologized to everybody. They were like, I kind of wish I never made this. And then they still kept it in the game and it came back a couple other times or whatever. Last Stand was just absolutely atrocious. It's, it's like, okay, I used some skill, I got lucky, whatever the situation may be, I got a kill, but you didn't. Instead, he dropped down to the ground, pulled out a pistol and finished you off. And there was always that little bit of time where they were immune to like bullets or whatever, right? It's like the animation of them going down and pulling out their gun. You couldn't damage them until that gun was out again. So that made it even worse. And the spider bot, to me, is hella worse than that. All right. Momentum and player enjoyment. Those are two key factors in this game. Like, going on, like, let's say you're on, like, a 10-kill streak, a 15-kill streak, a 20-kill streak. You're getting to 30, you're godlike, okay? And the only thing that stops you is, meh, face hugger out of nowhere. It brings momentum down to an absolute halt or whatever. Like, you could be doing really, really good, enjoying the game, and then all of a sudden, all that comes to a screeching halt because a spider jumps on your face. It does it also in the most annoying th way possible. It, does, it doesn't just stun you. It even obs obscures your vision. It shocks you. It does damage. It's absolutely horrendous and annoying, and I... There's one legendary match, okay? I delete it. It infuriated me so bad that it was during a live stream, and it was one of the, those days where it's like everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and it upset me so much. I, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm done with the stream. I deleted, like, it was like two hours of footage. I just deleted it. I deleted it, all the stuff off of YouTube. I was like, you know what? Screw that. That's like the worst day of gaming I ever, ever had. It culminated with a game of Team Deathmatch, where there were two people on the opposite team using spider bots. The match lasted roughly seven minutes, and I believe the spider bot is on a 30 second refresh. Give or take, I don't know. I literally have used the spider bot once or twice, realized, okay, I'd hate this thing, and I hate it being used on me, so I refuse to use it, okay? I stand my ground with that. But in this seven minutes, with two people using spider bots, I got attacked by it 14 times. 14 times. That means if it's a 30 second refresh, seven minutes times two, 14, that means every single spider bot, oh, I, I even hate seeing it on a replay. You, you can see, I, I do that, I'm getting frustrated. I hate it. 14 times in one match, that means each time the player launched a spider bot, every time it came straight to me. And here's the crazy thing. Maybe they fixed this, maybe it was a bug, maybe it's intentional. I have no idea. It would literally just walk by other players and come straight to me. Multiple times. 
And there was one time where I watched it going towards another player, and the, the, the player didn't do nothing. The player just was standing there just like, you know, had business in some other direction, doing whatever, and it just ignored it, turned, and came to me. The only thing I could think of is I'm the I was the highest level on my team. You know, did it have some kind of bias or something? Was it just bugged? I don't know. So in the course of that, it came after me 14 times. I was able to destroy it before it got on me twice. And normally, with something like that, I would rage quit. But it was so, it was so. I I don't have the words for it. I don't I don't have the words for it. I'm not the best with the English language or whatever, but. Yeah, it was so frustrating and unbelievable that I just had to keep playing, and I kept count of how many times it came after me. 14 times in one match. Oh, okay. Let's be, try to be at least a little non-biased. Let's look at the positives of the SpiderBot, okay? Positive number one. You put the SpiderBot out, it tracks somebody down. So you can kind of use the SpiderBot to you know, just follow your bot. It goes where it goes, and it hunts down an enemy for you. You don't have to know that they're there on the radar or hear them or anything. It just goes. You follow it almost like a tracker bot or whatever. And then when it does reach a target, jumps on the face, assuming it survives, jumps on the face, thumbs on, and you basically get a free kill. Okay? That's pretty much the gist of the spider bot. There's really no other use for it. I can see it being incredibly useful if they ever put something like Search and Destroy in, where it's, you know, 5v5, only one life. You throw a spider bot out, and it'll track someone down who's hiding around the corner or whatever. That could be incredibly useful, but also in Search and Destroy, incredibly game-breaking, because both sides of the team, I can see it now, are going to do, use nothing but spider bots to send them out, grab face, and whoever has the most spider bots ends up winning, because... Spider bots. Think about that. It's it's going to be just atrociously bad if they ever put a search and destroy in. And you know, search and destroy. You know, back in the days of you know Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, and in Call of Duty One and Two, uh, search and destroy used to be my thing. Right, uh, that's like all I played. And then eventually, I kind of just got bored with it, so I would used to stick to like TDM for the most part. But little little fact or whatever. Just to kind of throw this out there, a uh, long time ago, there used to be a little thing called Team Warfare League, and there was, uh, for Call of Duty 2, there was 2v2 bolt-action only uh, ladders, and me and my buddy, we got to second place in the world on that. Uh, different story for, you know, when we tried to go against the first place, guys, uh, that going up against them is the reason why we quit TWL completely, Team Warfare League, not the Weeb Lounge, same acronym. And we never look back because, yeah, no. So it tracks the, the spider bot tracks down people, hugs their face, stuns them for you. You get them, does a little damage. Okay, there's your benefit of it. Game breaking and search and destroy. In my opinion, it would be absolutely game breaking. The negatives, all the above. It enrages the player base. It brings a player's momentum, no matter how good or bad they were doing, it's, it, to a dead stop. Nothing ruins enjoyment, okay? You're doing good, you're having a run, even if it's, let's say, just a four kill streak, a five kill streak, you know, nothing major. You're doing good, hey, you're, you know, you're happy with your gameplay, you're kind of proud of yourself, you're living in the moment, and all of a sudden, bleh. Well, your enjoyment is now over. You have no chance. You are dead. It wouldn't be so bad if you could actually hear it, okay? Now, yes, you can hear it sometimes. We all know positional audio in this game is just absolutely atrocious. So in the times that you can hear the spider bot coming, you can prepare for it, you can look for it, you can shoot it. The other bad thing, though, is the hit detection on it seems to be kind of wonky, right? It's like there, there's times where like I'll literally like snipe the thing with, the, you know, the 50 cal and it just still grabs my face. How? I, I don't know how. And there's other times where I blast with a shotgun and it still grabs my face. You know, other times where, you know, I'll have my pistol out, I'll have a deagle out, I'll get three hits on it, or at least I think I did. It still grabs my face. And then there's other times where, like, I have, like, the, the three-round burst gun or whatever, I fire a volley at it, it hits it once and dies. I have no idea how much health this thing has. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's inconsistent. So... It's supposed to make noise and warn you that it's coming, right? But positional audio is horrible, so we don't always know that it's coming. 
It used to be that we could uh, look straight down and try to shoot it off our face, which certainly helped. But then they took that out and you had to just suffer with it, which made it even worse. And then they put that back in as an intentional bug, but it's not the same as what it was. I've gotten hit with it multiple times, face down, try to shoot it off, and nothing happens. I'll, you know, rather it be a sniper, a shotgun, uh, the vector here, nothing. It, it just don't work. <laughs> There's one time I got it to work, and it took like my whole clip, and like the last couple of bullets finally hit it. So, whatever the deal is, I don't know, but it is just by far, it breaks your motivation. It ruins the enjoyment of the game. And that's like the most important part right there. Enjoyment of the game. Yeah, you get hit with a flashbang. It's a downer, but you have a chance to survive. Same thing with a concussion over in COD, right? You have a chance to survive. A mechanic that says, stand still while I kill you. But not only that, it hunts you down and there's little to nothing you can do about it, depending on the situation. It's one of the, the mechanics in the game where like, if you go back to Call of Duty with Last Stand, nobody wants it. But for whatever reason, there's like maybe one developer hiding in a corner closet or something somewhere who's a real champion of this because it was their idea and they don't want to admit that it was horrible. That's probably all it is. One developer with a little bit of influence saying, hey, this was my idea. I think it's great. It's staying in the game. I refuse to concede that this is a horrible idea and we should replace the ability with something else. If you think... It needs to go or replace with something else. Give me a like, give me a share, subscribe, whatever it is. Growing channel needs to grow and we can only do it with your help. There's my spiel. I'm not very good with the spiels. But with that said, what would they replace it with, right? I'm not too sure what they would replace it with. Maybe, maybe a tracker feature, okay? That's probably going to be meant for a different faction where you can see the footsteps and everything. That's not really dead sec. It doesn't really feel right for Dead Sake. It's You have to hack something, right? Like a, like a counter UAV. A counter UAV would be perfectly acceptable, but that's kind of built into their ultimate as well. So maybe not necessarily that. What else could it be? Oh, well, I don't know. Get, put your idea down below. What should we replace the spider bot with? Should it be something that kind of has the same mechanic, but easier to avoid somehow, some way? Don't know. Or maybe they're, one of the factions has some kind of built-in counter. Could be that. Or it, the dead set could put something in to where for the next five seconds or whatever, they cannot be affected by any kind of flashbangs or concussions or anything like that or movement disabilities or something. I don't know, maybe something like that. But dead set's all about information. Or at least that's what they're supposed to be. Maybe turn the spider drone into a scout drone. It looks the same, it's still the same, but while a dead sec individual is using it, think of it as a Call of Duty RCXD. You have to take control of the spider bot, you're vulnerable while you take control of it, and you can send it out to, you know, you can blow it up and jump on someone's face still a little bit with it, but you can also just, you know, hit a button, blow it up, or maybe even tag people with it. Make that like a 40, 45 second cooldown, and that could be a lot of support points there. That would be, to me, that would be an awful lot better use of a spider bot. The, the advantage is you get a little bit more out of it, seemingly, almost making it more, more powerful. Maybe not so quite with the stun, but the downside is your avatar is vulnerable. That's a really, really big downside to something that can actually be a little bit more powerful. Almost to the level of an ultimate, but not quite. That's why you put it on like a 40, 45 second timer or whatever so that people can't spam the thing. That, if you ask me, would be a little bit more useful and reasonable. What do you guys think? Put it down in the comments below. And one thing that I know for sure is that the spider bot's got to go. I find myself being the target of these things like seemingly f way more often than I should. And all too often, like... I just get fed up. Now, I'll be playing. I might be having a good game. I might be having a bad game. All of a sudden, a spider bot plops on my face, and like I, my instant reaction is just leave the game. You know, I, I don't necessarily like doing that, but it's what I end up doing because you know the spider jumps on my face. I know I'm dead. I stopped caring. So I leave the game. Go find something else. And if there happens, to, if, if there's like two or more people using the spider bot on the opposite team, I don't even stick around. 
you know, I, I see that and I was like, yeah, no, I'm gone. It, it, I'm, it's bad enough dealing with one, two or more. I, I saw like uh, five on one team once. No, I, 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 I hit tab, brought up the screen and I, I saw, I was like, oh, no, we are not doing this. I left like quicker than anything. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, guys go. I do appreciate a like, a share, a little subscribe, a little bit of anything. Uh, we are a growing channel. I've been around for a long time, but I think I finally might have figured out the algorithm and said it took me long enough, but we'll see. But I'm really interested in your guys' opinion down below. Would it just be better off to get rid of the spider bot and replace it with something else? Time will tell. We'll catch you in the next vid.